वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू माई चैनल बायोलॉजी बाई डॉक्टर एन एस एन टूडे वी आर विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक नॉन एज द एंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम विच इज द फीचर ऑफ द यू कैरोटिक सेल आई वुड से दैट एंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज द नेटवर्क ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन्स एंड दिस नेटवर्क ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन्स इन अ सेल इज एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट फ्रॉम द सेल मेम्ब्रेन टू द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम आई हैव मेड अ मेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम ऑल अलॉन्ग द सेल right from the cell membrane to the nuclear membrane and this membrane system is called as endoplasmic reticulum though it is the feature of the eukaryotic cell but it is not found in the mammalian rbc in prokaryotes they are totally absent there was a scientist whose name was garnier who first of all observed them and called them as ergastoplasm but now they are called as endoplasmic reticulum and this endoplasmic reticulum name was proposed by a scientist known as the k r porter if we talk about the chemical composition of endoplasmic reticulum so it is composed of two major things one is known as the lipid another is known as the protein but the percentage of the lipid is more than the percentage of protein in endoplasmic reticulum now these are the modifications of the er for various functions er is modified in various way the first modification you can see is the sarcoplasmic reticulum it is the modification of er and this sarcoplasmic reticulum is present in the skeletal muscles we can also say them as voluntary muscles then in voluntary muscle what is the role of the sarcoplasmic reticulum basically they store the calcium ions and they release the calcium ions for the muscle contraction hence they are important for the muscle contraction t tubules these are the t tubules they are also called as transversely arranged tubules and they are also found in the skeletal muscles now the question arises that what is the role of the t tubules so they are actually having the role to transmit the impulses inside the muscles means they are actually transmitting the stimulus of contraction inside the muscle cells there are few myelinoid bodies which are also the modifications of the endoplasmic reticulum especially they are the modifications of the ser that is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and they are the pigmented cells they are the pigmented epithelial cells found in the retina of eye found in the retina of eye and they are light sensitive regions and they help in the pigment migration not only this in endoplasmic reticulum various enzymes are present say for glucose 6 phosphatases nucleotide diphosphatases magnesium activated atp synthetase enzyme nadh cytochrome c reductase now the question arises what is the role of these enzymes in the er so these enzymes are concerned with the synthesis of triglycerides phospholipids and cholesterol in a couple of minutes you will see that there is a type of endoplasmic reticulum known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is concerned with lipid synthesis so at that place these enzymes will be helpful i am repeating once again glucose 6 phosphatases nucleotide diphosphatases magnesium activated atp synthetase enzyme and nadh cytochrome c reductase these are the major enzymes found in the er now if we talk about the components of the er then the er is having three components so we are going to study components of er of er there are three major components the very first is known as cisterni the second one is known as the 
tubules and the third one are called as vesicles these cisternae are sac like structures but they are unbranched and ribosomes are present on them ribosome are present like these of type of structures are there these are the cisternes these are the cisternes which are unbranched and ribosomes are attached on them like this type these all are cisternes the second important component of er are the tubules they are branched tubules are branched and ribosomes are not present on them means ribosomes are absent on them like this type these are branch structures these are called as tubules these are called as tubules and vesicles are round structures like this type of the structures are there and they are concerned with storage so these are the three components of the er cisternae tubules and vesicles out of these three components some are present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and some are actually present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum now the very important thing at the time of the discussion of the endoplasmic reticulum is that we must know about the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so very first we are going to discuss the RER which is the first type of the endoplasmic reticulum RER means rough endoplasmic reticulum this rough endoplasmic reticulum is always present near the nucleus you can see that i have written here rough endoplasmic reticulum and here smooth endoplasmic reticulum it means near the nucleus or the nuclear membrane ribosomes present on this er called as what rer to so rer is central in position and it is near the nucleus this rer is also more stable membranous system in comparison to the ser and rer is made of it is made of especially the cisternae it is especially made of the cisternae right cisternae is present just now you have discussed that cisternae were sac like structures on which the ribosomes were present so especially they are made up of the cisternae they are more stable and they are present near the nucleus and ribosomes are present on them ribosomes are present on them that's why they are called as what rough endoplasmic reticulum why because ribosomes are present on them now the question arises that how ribosomes are attached on er this type of the question can be asked so the answer is that ribosomes are attached to er with help of glycoproteins and these glycoproteins are of two types riboforin first and riboforin second again i am repeating they are the glycoproteins with the help of these glycoproteins ribosomes are attached to the er okay so this is all about rer now 
the function of r e r so they are present in such cells which are concerned with protein synthesis means they can also act as sites of protein synthesis why because they are having the ribosome so they are present in the cells which are concerned with protein synthesis we can say that they are acting as site of protein synthesis now let's talk about the second type of the endoplasmic reticulum known as the ser this ser is also called smooth endoplasmic reticulum and you can see in the diagram smooth endoplasmic reticulum is present near the cell membrane i would say it is peripheral in position and it is less stable it is less stable than the rer and it is made of particularly tubules and vesicles here you can see that cisternes are absent and the name ser is given to them because our ribosomes are absent and their chief function is that they are present in such cells which are concerned with lipid and glycogen synthesis lipid means here lipoprotein and glycogen synthesis they are present in such cells which are concerned with lipoprotein and glycogen synthesis so these were the two major types of the er known as the rer and the ser now we are coming to the common functions of the er that what are the roles of or what are the functions of er in a cell these functions are very important many time questions are asked from the functions of the endoplasmic reticulum first function that it is acting as cytoskeleton of cell it is acting as cytoskeleton of cell means it forms the skeleton of the cell you can see that it is a membranous system and it is spread all over the cell so it forms the skeleton of cell it is called a cytoskeleton of cell second one it is concerned with protein synthesis it is concerned with protein synthesis lipo protein synthesis and glycogen synthesis as it is present from cell membrane to the nuclear membrane so it also helps in transport of substances fourth one it is helpful in synthesis of cell plate especially at the time of the cell plate formation the pieces of er are helpful in 
the cell plate formation the next point is they are also helpful in synthesis of they are also helpful in synthesis of lysosomes and golgi body next point they are responsible for detoxification they are responsible for detoxification means er uh, removes toxic substances from cell it removes toxic substances from the cell the next point is before discussing the next point once again have a look on the six functions of the er it acts as cytoskeleton of the cell it is concerned with protein synthesis lipoprotein synthesis and glycogen synthesis it helps in the transport of various substances from nuclear membrane to cell membrane it is helpful in the synthesis of cell plate pieces of endoplasmic reticulum are helpful in the synthesis of the cell plate they are also helpful in synthesis of lysosomes and golgi bodies they also removes the toxic substances from the cell the calcium ions released by sarcoplasmic reticulum helps in in muscle contraction and sometimes they also help in glycogeno lysis sometimes they are also helpful in glycogeno lysis means break down of glycogen into glucose to release energy so these are the major functions of the er so students this was the description of the endoplasmic reticulum if you have liked this video please subscribe my channel also like and share this video and if you are facing any problem regarding this topic or any other topic of biology you can ask me questions in the comment section i will be reply the answers of your question as soon as possible thanks a lot